28. No, 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 read it wrong, read it wrong. How is it we can get here so early? <laughs> yeah, we're so we are yeah. actually going to be running. Albania, simple and strong in its belief that it deserves more. It deserves more not only for the good of its people, but because it has everything it takes for Albanians to live in a normal, safe country like anywhere else in the world. Albania not only deserves more, but it wants more. Albania wants to become a great example of peace and prosperity to the rest of the world. I'm literally already breaking the speed limit. Kids, if you're watching, you know, don't break the speed limit when you've been in a country for half an hour, if that. No. There's a car coming Hello. right between Hi. us. Slow down. It's not that hard. <laughs> How do you know what the speed limit is? I think there's signs up saying 50. What's freaking me out though is it says 38, but we're going kind of about 15. What is Kilometers, isn't it? <laughs> okay, never concentrated so hard in my life. <laughs> We've got a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I love the flats. Yeah. It's like super cool. Getting all the way around, are they? Yeah. people to understand that Albania is a very beautiful place actually with a lot of opportunities and a lot of sun we have yeah. like almost of 200 days per year that are <laughs> with the sun uh, people here have a lot of energy but as well uh, people need more opportunities and need to be more hopeful especially young people we have quite many youth in Albania that would like to see more things to come to them to have to develop further their potentials and for this they need a lot of uh, support a lot of services from the government but as well from NGOs so uh, Albanians are cool people but as well they need uh, to be supported to develop full their potentials
everyone saying traditional and Albanian. <laughs> yeah. Going for L. Um, something big. Smoked cow sausage. <laughs> actually bubbling. I mean, look at that. Wow. Ellie has nothing. I know. I know that that's wow. Albania has the highest migration flow in Europe. Sadly, one third of its people have left the country in the last 25 years. In Albania, we live like a almost three millions of people yeah. but in all over the world we are like uh, 10 millions yeah so we are more outside albania than in mm -hmm. albania migration has been part of albania's history in the first phase 5,000 albanians desperately stormed several western european embassies in tirana and were granted refuge in those countries the second took place in 1991 when about 26,000 Albanians crossed in overcrowded boats to Italy. The third migration peak in 1997 saw 70,000 Albanians leaving when they had lost all their savings in a pyramid scheme. The fourth episode in 1999 saw more than 400,000 Albanian Kosovars cross into Albania fleeing war in Kosovo. That is the worst parallel parking I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of celebrating the Chinese New Year been going on here. Don't even see it just down there. There's a great big dragon. It's very cool. And some fish. So I don't know if you can see it, I'll try and zoom as best I can. But there's a panda hanging up there. Because what we've learned is in Albania, to hang toys up outside a house keeps away bad spirits. I don't know if you can see them, but they're sort of grazing on what's left of the grass that is underneath just all of this rubble. Um, I even have a bag currently tied to my foot that's just blown on there. And in true Just Enough style, even though it's everywhere, we're gonna at least try and put it in the bin. There we go, we've done our bit. We're just it's coming up to a kid. You know, we won't we ask him because he's busy working, but he's probably just picking bits of wood out. Or you can freaking salvage, make a living, keep working. The bit that gets me about that is he's there picking out, trying to get bits of metal from the rubble. Why isn't he in school? Unfortunately, this reality is increasing in most, uh, in many communities in Tirana and in other cities and in village. Is it scary being pregnant here? Do you think? Um, for for the community that we work, uh, yes. Yeah. It's all it's all because um, um, it's not only the pregnancy, but after that will take care of the baby, if the baby will have all the necessary uh, supplies that he or she will need. And uh, usually they, they don't have the possibilities to, yeah. um, to offer to the baby all the things that yeah. the baby could. Um, we heard stories about having to bribe the doctor to look after you or bribe the nurse to look after you. Is that something you've heard of too? Yes. Really? Do you think that's why so many children and parents try to leave? Do you think there's a dream of living in the UK or living somewhere else that's better or...? I think that um, it's a dream for all of us. So one of the big things in the UK that we go on about is car washes. But we've just come across this one here in the city. 
and there's a guy dressed exactly like you'd see guys in the UK. He's got his wellies on, he's running a business. There's a price list, can you see that? Price list up there and everything else. You know, it's good business. Out here, if you've got a business like that, it's good. Always have, always have customers. Always Everyone have always customers. Absolutely. Problem is, you bring it to the UK, you exploit people, you don't use them, don't pay them properly. That's not a good business to run. <laughs> Just cutting across the car, we thought we'd come across this sort of field and just sort of film just all the stuff that's here. Bottles, shoes, bags, bogs. There's like burn marks up against the wall where, you know, they probably keep the fires out of the wind from there. So, Ellie and I have just been discussing, a lot of people have said to us that like school finishes here at 12 o'clock. You're doing half the learning here that you'll do in the UK. Imagine what an effect that has. Here's good. There's another car. Right, that, ah. Oh. So I'm not sure if I was doing this on purpose, but I have lost him. I'm trying to guide him to the um, car park. I don't know where he is. His phone's not working. I can't see his car anywhere. He said he was going around the block, so I think he's probably lost. Um, yeah. <laughs> I may not see Ellie for a while. Not him, still can't see him. I don't want to abandon you, but might have to. in a thunderstorm and today I think tomorrow is going to be really exciting I'm excited for all the things I'm going to see everything we're going to learn it's interesting to talk to the people here we've got to get better at our language we learned how to say thank you today but I cannot remember it um, and yeah we're going to try and make that connection with the people I think because I think it's really important when you're travelling to try and talk to people and really understand them. So hopefully we will be able to do that tomorrow, going down to Valora, as I said, and um, see how it goes. Fingers crossed, getting up at 6 a.m. We had to move a washing machine a couple of weeks ago and it didn't occur to me to try and put it in the back of the booth <laughs> and tie it in somehow and I'm not really sure how they tied it in. But you'll see kids, when he takes off, the plastic literally looks like Batman's cape wafting in the wind. There you go. You know, Coca-Cola, globalised globalisation at its best. Well, yeah. It does have an American-y sort of feel to it. Yeah. Like the highway, all the big marks off the highway type. Yeah, these sorts of big like shops that you would only go to for that shop. Yeah. I think that's in a lot of places though. That's I true. I think a lot of places are sort of built off of America. So the UK is kind of odd in that you come off yeah. for shopping in yeah, yeah. Or not just the UK, like France. France, yeah. Yep. A lot of places really. <laughs> but there are also a lot of places <laughs> that are under development that well, you know, they take a lot from America. So what we're basically saying here is that everywhere does kind of the same thing. Yeah. That is a deep moment that will definitely go in the middle. <laughs> Looking at all the houses, there seems to a lot of houses tend to not be finished or in construction. And Anna was telling us yesterday that most of the time they won't get finished because, or or if they do, then people don't have enough money left to actually put anything in them.
some point, either Ellie or myself are going down a hole. Uh, <laughs> there are. Fall down. The percentage is not in our favour. No. Now, just think when you're in the UK and you're going along and see roadworks, you wouldn't imagine that cars can also drive on those roadworks all at the same time. So there you go. We're, we're making a documentary um, about what life is like in Albania, living in Albania. Like, if you look at a country like the UK, say, what do you think of the UK? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, is it like, do you guys, do you guys want to stay in Albania and make a life here? And... If you become a successful person here, living here is great. Okay. But um, if you don't have too many opportunities, uh, like a career here, it's not very good. Okay. Guys, thank you so much. We'll let you guys get back to <laughs> doing your thing. For this young girl, who aspired to become a doctor. Any money used for education would be used for her brother instead of her. Where does that leave her? Albania remains a poor country and in many areas a woman's role is still seen as being in the home. Young women in small town Albania can be easy prey for groomers seduced by promises of a better life. Why is what you do with the girls so important? Why do you love what you do? Just tell me about everything that you do. And... Uh, young people in Albania have fewer opportunities compared to the UK. Fewer of the girls have uh, uh, less knowledge on their rights and uh, they are still learning how to make more And we make them uh, uh, conscious about gender equality about their rights, uh, about uh, gender stereotypes and how they can break them. This is where most of the UK's foreign victims of human trafficking are coming from. The number of potential victims in Britain now runs into thousands. The UK's National Crime Agency has reported a 35% rise in potential victims of trafficking from 2016 to 17. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Hello, my name is Agnesa. I was born in Vlora. When I was 13, I had a boyfriend who I adored. I don't have many or the opportunity around Vlora and when he come along I really thought that I had find someone who could help me get a future. He would buy me gifts and tell me how much he loved me. I lost my mom and my dad was a drunk. I didn't feel that I could trust anybody and I wasn't doing very well in school if I even went at all. My boyfriend promised me a better life than the one I already had and say he would take me up places like the United Kingdom and the United States. One day he started hitting me and said, I, if I don't do that he wanted him to do, he would hurt my dad. He then started telling his friends that they could do whatever they wanted with me as long as they pay him. One day he blindfolded me and took me to building. And in this building I was put into a basement where I was used by many people every day. I could hear other girls crying, but I didn't know where I was. 
we were never allowed to do. <laughs> we were never allowed to go out and I'm even sure how long I was there, but I must have been half years. don't really um, know where to start. I'm meant to be putting down what I think. At the moment it's, it's hard really to think. Um, just spent about an hour with some girls who are incredible. They've come through so much. It's hard to even consider what they've what they've been through. Uh, um, one of the girls, she wants to be a designer and um, she showed me this skirt that she made, which was awesome, um, much better than anything I've ever been able to make. And she's learning and they're going to school and it's such, you know, she was proud of what she'd made and I was, I was proud of her. And I wanna, I'd love to be able to do more or say, you know, do something for her. Because she's so, she's got such charisma and personality and I hope that all the girls eventually get to the stage where she's at, where they can go, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be okay, I'm going to make something. I want to be in police or doctors or same things that any person of that age would choose to do. Maybe even better than what anyone of that age would choose to do. Make sure we evaluate why you do what you do. And I'm so glad that what I do makes, will make the difference to them. Because they were sort of, sort of saying about, you know, what we asked them, what would you want, what would you want kids to know? What would you want children in the UK to know? Well, they said they, they wanted them to know how to protect themselves not about them. They didn't say, oh, we want them to do something for us, or they said, we want them to be protected. And I think that's a big part of it. Like, that caring for other people, and even if something bad has happened to you, still saying, I don't want that to happen to someone else. Being able to get through it. Street, and we luckily met a nice kind police officer who is showing us the way. Yeah, there'll be hotels. We did drive past a few hotels. We did. Um, then we decided to go to one. Yep. Um, we're on a stretch of road where you can't really turn around. Yep. So we're just sort of waiting for the next hotel to pop up, and it hasn't. No. Um, no rooms available at the inn. Exactly. This is getting a bit Mary and Joseph, and uh, it's, it's it's getting, getting late. late. So Phil has let me have the massive room. 
Um, no balcony though. He has just discovered that he has a balcony in his room. <laughs> For the first time in my life of doing this job, I've got a room with a room, a view and a balcony and I can't open the door. <laughs> Come on, Today we were sitting in a restaurant and there was an old guy we think who owned the restaurant and this younger girl who was we thought at first was his daughter but you know because she was really young and then as the sort of lunch went on and we were just both sitting there talking she kept um, like caressing his leg and it was just really weird because it was old enough to be like her granddad it's hard because it gets in your head a little bit and you start to think through, well, everything looks bad. But it might not be, it might just, it might be innocent, it might be, I don't know, but it just all felt weird. Tomorrow we will go to visit Teresa, one uh, village in the remote areas of Fier and Levan, another uh, small city in Fier. There are living uh, people and families, children from the majority of them from vulnerable communities like Roma communities. Brought on by the global financial crisis in 2008, spurred more people to leave Albania and sadly also meant that more than 150,000 Albanians returned from Greece and Italy, where they had found homes to stay. So today we're walking to Embassy Road because we are getting in a car um, with a charity and we are heading off down south for two and a half hour journey. And uh, we're going down to see a, a Romani village, they told us. Okay, where the people have built their own sort of settlement that shouldn't have been there, but the government have just sort of left them there to go with it. So we're going to go and see that and see people who can return from the UK and other countries um, who've been trafficked and such. So it's going to be a hell of a day. everything to be for the transport to go there mm. and they went to this mostly to Germany and lived for some months in camps and then they got a negative response they had to come back to Albania but they lost like everything just deciding just trying yeah. This is a big building. Yeah, it served as a university. Oh, so it used to be the university? Yeah, it used to be. So. They have a problem with the registration. They, uh, when they have children, they don't register them. Yeah. If something happens to the child, uh, yeah. it's like so they do not exist. But rather than just give it, it's actually used so that people can make money. Because I think a lot of people, when they donate clothes, they assume that it's just going to be given to people who don't have clothes. But actually, it can help people build a business. It's such a good idea. It just doesn't stop. And you can just see down there, there's even more. <laughs> What's the good price? You're going to hurt me. <laughs> it's me. Ellie, Ellie signing her new purchase. <laughs> Oh, 
shumë komuniteti dhe mbranda që më zirin he kur tani. Këtu e kemi realizuar atë edhe. And the Roman communities, they come here, especially young people, and take iron and sell it. For anyone who's ever played a game called Call of Duty, when they go into the abandoned theme park, it has very much that sort of feel to it. I'm just going to walk my way to the centre. See, why isn't it all knocked down? Why isn't it turned into something else? It's just left. Look at all of this. swimming pool. So I've just come inside here. Just watching every step at the moment. I can hear voices in the background which makes me a little bit nervous. But this is the swimming pool room. I wonder what used to happen in here. And it looks out on all of this. People who live here in this area, they pick up a plastic uh, and they get it all here and then comes a car and picks them and it's like, okay, they work with this. They have not only plastic to recycle it, but even other trashes which can be reusable mm -hmm. yeah. and then sell it. Inside these small houses, big family, families, Yeah. yeah see how they live there. Who is the man? Who is the man? Who is the man? Hi. 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 I see you. <laughs> I love your kitchen. That's so cool. <laughs> Sonia had a problem with the legs. She couldn't walk. <gasps> oh, wow. And yeah, had to put it in. Last yeah, time. yeah, yeah. And in the picture, you can see there's a picture where she's with her dad. Yeah, I mean, she can't uh, But now she's okay and walk, it's not a problem. What about the intervisor shop? What is it? What is it? Maria! 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 Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I think England is nice. I've never been there, but if I get the chance to go there, I would never come back to Albania. <laughs> okay. I've got nothing to do. Ah, <laughs> 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 Salomon, Daddy. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Hey, <laughs> oh, who's this? Oh, it's the ice cream man. Thank you. 
Call him in daddy. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, guys. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Kelly's become quite popular. It's nice that there's places like this for the kids because yeah. imagine if there wasn't. Yeah. Then I also feel like they find things yeah. that to keep themselves entertained. Yeah. They can sort of help their development almost to have that opportunity. But yeah. In the long term, what is it? I love the sink. It's so colourful. <laughs> the beds are just so well made. Everything's so looked after. <coughs> You've got like a flu? Uh, are you in a grip? Oh. Yes. Yes. Are you able to take any medication or tablets? Yes, she was in hospital. Okay. Yeah. And did they look after you in hospital? I am with this for two six do text Italy. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She said that she had a little bit of difficulties since she's pregnant. She's oh. expecting um, a son. She has two daughters. Okay. And now there is a boy coming in. Oh, wow. So you did. Mr. Piss. Mr. Piss. She's 25 years old. Let them play, let them play. With innocence that will not cease. Let them laugh, let them laugh. For their joy fills the air, overcoming sadness. Let them learn, let them learn. What their world means. Let them live, let them live. By their choice and their creed. Let them be, let them be. The hope to give to the world. And, and how comes you guys stay? How, how comes you two didn't go, right, we're out of here? I think that um, um, trying to do our best. There is a lot of work to be done to improve better, not only the infrastructure, but as well the services to be more accessible for them. I think young people should work to build Albania because, because if they don't, nobody else will. Yeah, I think sometimes there's an attitude of stuff with people in England where they think that everywhere should be like England. Yeah. And because of that attitude, people in other places feel like it's not good enough. Mm -hmm. There are definitely things we have that are great, there's safeguards in place, but... Healthcare. Yeah, healthcare, education, all those things. Yeah. But actually, it's all right to be different from England. Not in a bad, you know, yeah, transportation, yeah. no. Yeah. People not being able to go to hospital, no. But there's some parts of every culture that it's okay to not be like the West. Yeah. It's okay to not be like England. You see so much influence of the West everywhere. Yeah. And yeah, there's great things about it, but it's also great things about places like this. Yeah. And the people in them, and they think differently, and that's okay, but yeah. not to the point of hurting others.